Okay guys, so in this video, what I'm gonna do is go over the Netcats reverse shell scenarios that I've experienced in recent times. Just wanted to make a video uh, for some of the pitfalls. Um, hopefully this helps you uh, resolve the issues and uh, avoid the issues that I've come across uh, in recent times. So um, what I'm gonna do is quickly set up a the listener that you would expect a response back um, but evidently not receiving that um, in a scenario. So, typical case, um, I have a reverse shell here, PHP reverse shell. Uh, it's quite common, uh, but you can obviously, if it comes out of the box, you can certainly find that. I have a few copies, but um, you can find that on your Kali. Um, one thing to do, if config, you're looking at the TUN0 interface. So the 1094178. Um, if I go into the, the shell, uh, the PHP file that I intend to upload, I've entered in the IP address here. Uh, furthermore as well, uh, if I do uh, the netcats, listener that obviously has to match the port number uh, once i've done that if i do an upload get the php file upload that if i look at i think it's in resources i can see that that's been uploaded uh, in recent times actually when i click that however i don't get anything back and so there's a number of reasons for this and it's quite difficult to try and troubleshoot because you never really see that response. Um, one thing to note um, is that this has to be ending in a semicolon. Quite simple once it's been stated, but it has to be saved uh, in matching that syntax. Um, also to note as well that all these other attributes, uh, uh, all these other attributes that are populated in this file also needs to have that um, semicolon. The other thing is the firewall. So if I do a status, you have to ensure the um, the actual request can hit your Kali, um, and so if you don't enter in a permitted ACL onto your firewall, then you may very well, um, well, it will certainly get blocked. So from my side, um, I think I have it, yeah, I already have one here. So the scenario being that if you know your IP address, so for me, it is 10.10, uh, Two one two dot twenty. So that is the um, application, uh, the web application's IP address. So essentially, um, whatever it's where, wherever you should be getting the response back from. Um, you also need to permit uh, through TCP protocol. This has to be lowercase, and then matching this nine zero zero one matching to the listener that you're expecting. Uh, also, yes, so run it as root. Uh, you will, however, notice that I've kind of cut a few corners and added in any any scenario for the 9001, but you can do a status and find that that's been imported that way. So once you've done that, and uh, we are ready to re upload that file. So let's upload this. <laughs> Upload it successfully, apparently. And when I try and do the reverse shell, I get the response back. So a couple of couple of hiccups, make sure the, the file's correct, make sure your IPs are set correctly, as well as um, as well as the firewall. So I hope that helped guys. Thank you for watching.